Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections, and today I've got a warning for you about your carbon monoxide alarm. It will never tell you about low levels of carbon monoxide. Yep, you heard me right. Okay, so let's back up. What's carbon monoxide? It's that colorless, odorless, tasteless gas that comes from fuel burning appliances that can kill you in your sleep. At very high concentrations, people will die pretty quickly, but at low levels, levels low enough that your carbon monoxide alarm will never even tell you about, it can still give you problems. People will complain about headaches, fatigue, flu-like symptoms, nausea, dizziness, forgetfulness, brain fog, all these different things at low levels levels that your alarm will never tell you about. I know I'm repeating myself, but I think it's important to know about because people install carbon monoxide alarms in Minnesota. They are required by code. You have to have them, but they assume that it's going to keep them safe. The job of a carbon monoxide alarm is to keep you from dying. This is a life safety device. It's not designed to tell you you have clean air that you're breathing. That's free of CO. Now, Carbon monoxide is measured in parts per million. If you have less than 30 parts per million in your air, now that's, that's still a, a bad number, but if you have less than that, the alarm is never going to sound off. That is by design. Between 30 and 70 parts per million, I don't know exactly what happens, but once you're at 70 parts per million, if you have that amount for somewhere between one and four hours, then your alarm needs to sound off. And then at higher concentrations, it needs to sound off faster. And that is per the UL standards that these alarms are built to. So what are you supposed to do? How are you supposed to keep your air safe? Well, my advice is to buy a CO detector. I'm choosing my words carefully. This is not a UL listed CO alarm. This is not considered a life safety device. It's something that's going to alert you to low levels of carbon monoxide in the home. It's a much more sensitive device and it's also much more expensive. You can buy CO alarms for probably 20, 30 bucks at the store. A CO detector, the one that I'm thinking of by CO experts, it's more like $200. But they last for a long time and I have had one in my home for the last, I don't know, seven years, something like that. Whatever it is uh, since it has expired, I just recently realized that it had expired on me and I need to get a new one, which is what made me think of telling you about this. It's, I think it's very important for homeowners to have low level carbon monoxide detectors. This is not a substitute for a CO alarm and it's not something the building official would recognize but it's still a good thing to have. So that's my message for you today. I will have a link to CO experts in this video. I have no affiliation with them. I am not sponsoring them. I don't get any money when you buy them. This is a completely unbiased recommendation for these devices. Okay, that's what I got for you today. I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections. Thanks for watching. Take care.